Now, once we talked about static variable, it's time to talk about static methods. Now, what I will do is I will just try to remove all this content from here, just to keep it simple. And let's make a static, a static method. Now, the method which we have here show is not a static method, right? It's an instance method. It's because we have not mentioned a static keyword. Now, whenever you want to work with a non-static method, you need to create an object of it. Of course, if you want to call, you have to create object of uh, mobile. In fact, you know, actually we need those objects here. And uh, yeah, let's keep it here just to use it. Now, let me create a simple static method. So I will say public uh, static void show one. Again, if you can see, I'm using a different method name just to differentiate it. And here, if I try to, first of all, I will just print in static method. Now, how do we call the static method? To call show, we have to get object, right? You can't simply come back here and say uh, mobile dot show. This will not work. If you try to call mobile dot show, it will give you an error. It says, let's see the error. It says cannot make a static reference to a non-static method. That means you cannot call a non-static method with the help of a class name. And that's why you need object here, which we can see. We're using obj1, obj2. But can I call show one from mobile? Let's try and we can. You can see that there's no problem. So you can call a static method directly with the help of a class name. Okay, that's what we are doing here. We're directly ca calling it with a class name. Now the question is, this looks cool, right? A static method can be used directly with a class name. But can I call, can I use a variables here? Let's try to do the same thing. I will just copy this line and paste it here. Let's see what happens. The moment you do that, you can say there's no problem with name. So that means you can use a static variable inside a static method, but you cannot use a non-static variable inside a static method. The question is why? I mean, think about this. Brand and price, they are instance variable. That means it will be different for different objects. Now, when you call show with obj1, we know that in this show, when you're printing brand and price, you're talking about obj1. When you call show with obj2, you know that the brand and price will be of obj2. But then when you call mobile.show1, how do we know which, which object you're referring to? So this brand belongs to obj1 or it belongs to obj2. And that's why it says, hey, there's a confusion, right? Let's not do that. Let's not have a non-static variable directly getting access in a static method. It's not possible. Uh, this time I've added a directly keyword that. That means indirectly is possible. Now, how will you do the indirectly? It's very simple. What if you can actually pass the object itself? You can say, hey, I want to run show one for obj object, obj one object. Now, since you are passing the object, you have to also accept it here. So you can say mobile obj. And now, now since we have the object, I can refer that with the help of obj one dot brand. I mean, obj dot brand on obj dot price. So basically we cannot directly use a non-static variable inside a static method, but if you have an object reference, then you can use it because now we can differentiate. And so the brand which I'm talking about is for obj1, not for obj2. So that's how we have to do it. So that's how we work with static method. Now, if you observe here, from start, we are using this, right? The main method is static. Why in this world we have a main static? It's because if you don't make main static, if this was a syntax, the problem is, if you don't mention static, that, that means main becomes a non-static method, which means if you want to call main, we have to first create the object of demo. Oh, that means you cannot call main without the object of demo. But the question is, we all know that main is a starting point of execution. If the execution has not started, how can you create object of demo? Okay, so there's a deadlock here, right? Uh, so to solve that problem, what we can do is we can make this variable as static. So to solve that problem, we can make this main method as static. The moment you do that, we are saying, hey, you know, to call main, we don't need object of demo. Problem solved, right? So yeah, this is how we can solve this problem. And this is what static methods are. Uh, anything else? I, th I think we, it looks good. In the next video, let's try to see something more about static. There's a concept of static block, which we'll discuss in the next video.